kumka kumbe ni mkojo kumbe ni kukojolewa na kojolewa by someone who was outside our home <tune> to my channel thank you very much for consuming my content and coming back in case you're new here my name is Hilda Wambogo and this channel is all about inspiration mental health self-care which is a part of mental health and along the way I'll introduce my siblings and share what we do when we get a chance to be together now today I want to share a story about our home and around two weeks ago I came around our our family photo album an album that contains a lot of memories because it has so many photos that uh, that are old and uh, be, belong to to our childhood if i would say that so there's this one photo that i came across that was really interesting and it reminded me of where we've come from and We've, we've come from far. We've come from afar. This particular photo is of our home. A home that all of us, the three of us, found. So this was our first home. And the most interesting thing with this photo is because um, being our first home, this house was interesting at the same time it has a lot of memories at the same time it has good memories and bitter memories and that is why this photo stood out in that album today so i'll try and put that photo up here for you guys to see and maybe one thing I would say about this house and what I remember about it. Um, one, obviously, it was wooden. Secondly, it was a one-room house whereby kulikuwa na a space whereby the seats where uh, a corner to cook was. And at the same time, what else was in that house? Yes, and now there was a one-bedroom one bedroom whereby we used to share all of us so uh, that is one thing that I remember about that house the second thing that I remember about that house it was not stable it was not stable and what I mean about that I think if five men came together they would have brought that house down waki shikilia tu all they needed to do was to push it kidogo to na chini. That is the second thing I remember that, about that house. And if you look at this picture keenly, you would tell your nyumba ime, ime slant slightly mbele on the front side. So that is another thing that I remember about that house. The, that thing that I remember about that house, there is one plant that was behind it uh, a rose flower plant and uh, I knew that plant since uh, I met that or I found that home and that plant was never uprooted I will share why so th those are some of the things that I can remember about this about this home and uh, I'm going to share about the, the interesting things that I can remember about this home and the bitter maybe or the worst experiences that I can remember about this home. And I'll begin by the, 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 what? the positives about this home. Now one thing I would say, the good thing that I can remember about this home, despite how this home looks like, this, is our, uh, this was our home. This was our home. Uh, a home that we found there and we didn't have any other option rather than being there. So, number one, 
at least we had a shelter we had a place to lay our heads to that was one of the best things about that home at least we were not sleeping outside as much as it looked that way so the second thing that i can remember or another good memory that i can share about this home is that um, every christmas every christmas there is one particular corner i don't know whether i'll get a photo of those season that season there there was one particular corner to look to make a cypress tree yes the cypress tree and create a christmas tree from that tree so every year approach the christmas festival we would um, create that christmas tree and take photos of it and make memories together with some flowers then you want to wake up graduate around the your neck so that is another memory that i can remember about that home the other thing that i can remember about that home that was and is positive that was positive is the togetherness that we had no matter how much that house looked like a mess and can look like not a home to many of you out there it was home for us we had so many memories and we still treasure those moments whereby we sat down and made stories and shared probably how the day was and all that that used to happen a lot and i can remember so many kids around our village used to come to that home they used to come to na share stories to naongea to late night and then we would escort them to to go to their homes so it was a home as much as it looked that way is there any other memory that i can remember about that home is there any other memory the other thing i would want to to say about this home it was not a problem at all to us when growing up when you napatanga watu they are afraid of where they come from maybe you lie of where you come from it was never an issue to us if we had friends who wanted to follow us and go home and come to our home to play and all that we used to take them to that home so there's no particular time where we got ashamed of where we came from and all that so those are some of the good memories that i can share about that home and all that now as much as it was a home a home that looked that way it had some of the disadvantages or the challenges that came along with this home and uh, one of the challenges that i would mention or talk about uh is the condition of that house you see how bent it is inside was a mess and if i can remember we used sacks magunia zimeshonwa a ceiling inside that house that is the table room uh the bedroom i kuwa by the way so what used to happen you know there are seasons kuna rainy seasons kuna kuna sunny season now during the rainy season oh my goodness things were always messy yani ungepata the the bed or where we used to sleep maybe uh kumenyesha zimenyeshewa the beddings are wet uh, we had so many corners and sent us in those house whereby kukinyesha the rain just was finding its way in this house so most of the time when it used to rain or those rainy seasons ukiingia kwa nyumba you would find a sufuria there <laughs> you would find a pot over there you would find a bucket at some other point whereby maybe rain is coming 
through the roof and all that. So ungepata maybe they are around two sufurias and a bucket to, to harvest that water. That was one of the challenges. And sometimes uh, during the rainy seasons, unapatanga, during the day it's sunny and then the rain is during the night. So mtuwa melala tu hivi ungesikia, kumeaza kunyesha. And kuna mahali, kuna, kuna mwagika maji. So that is one of the, 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 the disadvantage I would talk about, about that home. So if supposing you are not around home and mpate kumenyesha, you would find that home is messed up. Chini kuna kama tope. Yani ni kama maji liku inatoka nje inaingia. And at some point that used to happen because of the gaps that were down there you'd find that water or the running water is finding its way in the house. So that was one of the disadvantage or a negative about this house. The second thing that I remember about this home is that this house was old. How old it was before we were born, I am not sure up to date. But one thing I would say Another negative that I would say about this home is the fact that it was wooden and uh, some of the timbers were missing. Where they went to, I'm not sure again. So I can remember I mentioned about a rose flower that was behind that house for the longest time ever. And that rose flower was uprooted when that house was demolished. When we got blessed with our second home, that is when we uprooted that rose flower. So, the purpose of this rose flower and why we never uprooted that plant is because a rose flower has thorns on it. So, <clears throat> it was like a security for all of us because... Uh, hakuna mtu angejishikilia kwa hiyo area yenye rose flower ilikuwa and what was being covered by that plant was a space that was behind that house and had no timbers around five of them so you can imagine if that plant was not there anyone mwenye anapita tupita tu huko angepata his or her way into the bedroom without using the main door. So that was the purpose of that plant that was never uprooted, like forever. It was never. As much as we, we used to weed around that house plant flowers, that one plant, that rose flower, that rose flower was never touched by anyone. So that was another disadvantage and I remember one time individuals came and uh, around that rose flower and they were able to enter inside our home but I think walitafuta kitu ya kubeba huko wakakosa. So again that was one of the negatives about that house. The third thing that I remember that connects to that house being being wooden na uh, some parts of the timber were missing is the fact that uh, I remember my mom's bed kuna venye ilikuwa imewekwa na side ya kichwa ilikuwa towards the wall of the other side of this other side so <clears throat> I remember one night when my mom was asleep, someone came, someone that we know, but we cannot mention their names here. He came and uh, I think, <laughs> I don't know whether he knew uh, there was a house there. I'm not sure about that up to date. But what happened is he wanted to, to ease himself. Kwenda hajandogo. And he just started his business uh, directing the manhood towards the wall of that house. 
and um my mom woke up suddenly shocked and terrified because the urine urine was penetrating through this wood towards where her head was so yeah ilikuwa aliamka akiwa amekojolewa kwa uso urine was all over so una imagine ukuo umelala and then all of a sudden you feel something warm something hot around you your face and you're sleeping kuamka kumbe ni mkojo kumbe ni kukojolewa na kojolewa by someone who was outside our home Ooh, it was crazy <laughs> it was crazy so that is another another disadvantage i can mention about this home uh being the third one what other thing can i remember about that home what other 